Well, good morning, or yeah, afternoon now. We're all uh, faffing around. I hope you enjoyed the previous couple of videos. How do I know what I'm listening to? And follow on video from that, Rubber Ass 2 from Iceland, which was going to be joined to the How Do I Know What I'm Listening To video, but my phone wouldn't allow me to do it, it didn't have enough memory or something, so they had to do them separate, never mind, anyhow. Hope you're all well on this very wet Saturday here in the south of England. Um, here's a thing, here's a thing you can save. If you got scrap transistor radio or <coughs> old sort of hi-fi or something, one of those all-in-one sort of hi-fis, and you're checking it out, here's the thing you can save: cannibalize it. Ferrite bar from the antenna. That was a considerable radio, whatever that came out of. Always worth saving, always worth having in the spares box for experiments and stuff. So here's a piece I used. <coughs> to make a ballon. <coughs> My homemade ballon. Elements for the antenna would have connected here. There would have been some electrical joiner here, plastic with screws in it. And connect your elements to your dipole there. And same here. Electrical joiner, coax to um, inner core of your coax to one side, outer braid to the other side. And this worked. Pretty well, I'd have to say, up in the loft. Until I got the professionally made ballon, which allowed me to put a plug on the end of my coax and do a nice neat job of it. But homemade ballon, and it worked very well. This is a 6 to 1 ballon. You could easily make a 9 to 1 or you know, whatever. So always save your ferrite bar. <coughs> what I was going to say was, before I lose my voice, and I'll shunt over in a second, and we'll have a look at my antenna tuning unit, and I'll talk to you a little bit about my antenna tuning unit. So, see you in a second. Well, here we are back again. So this is our MFJ VersaTuner 2 antenna tuning unit, the 9401E. Now you'll notice on it there's a meter here. We can ignore that. That's for calibrating your SWR when you're transmitting. We can ignore the 30 and 300 watt switch here and the lamp switch we can also ignore that we don't need to bother with them either and the transmitter and the antenna controls when receive only we leave them in the 12 o'clock position the only controls we're interested in that we need bother with is the antenna selector and the inductor that's all we need bother with. Now, at the moment, I'm on where it says wire there. I'm on a wire antenna, a Zeppelin, and that's tuned with the inductor. If I put my T down a second, if I stretch a bit, move the in inductor. And you watch the signal meter on the radio. You'll see it drop. So you set it for your highest reading, which is there. So that's now tuned. 
If I turn this to where it says bypass and bypass this and just have the straight Zeppelin into the radio, watch the signal meter if you can. Signal meter is now on about three and a half, four. Whereas if I go back to tuned, you see it's above five now. So that's the benefits of tuning an antenna. There's not huge amounts of gain everywhere when you're using the tuner. It's really the further away you get from where the antenna is set, what frequency the antenna is set for, the further away you get, the sort of more gain you'll get with the antenna tuner. But it's certainly something worth hiring if you've got a desktop receiver. And one of the things I suppose even even bigger benefit than actually allowing me to tune an antenna really. But the biggest benefit for me is it allows me to run more than one antenna at a time. At the moment I've got a Zeppelin antenna going into it and also a wire dipole. But there is room for a third antenna if I wanted to, but I haven't got room up in the loft for a third antenna. And I've really no need anyway. But I do swap between antennas, like on 80 meter amateur band, if I'm listening to that, I'll use the Zeppelin antenna. Whereas if I'm on 40 meters amateur band listening to them up there, then I'll use the wire dipole, so it allows me to um, choose which antenna I use. Here's the wire dipole. See if I can tune that up a bit. That's about it. So it's slightly better on 8 megahertz, slightly better on the Zeppelin for looking at it. But yeah, no, not much in it. Yeah, a little bit more on the Zeppelin on 8 megahertz. But it does allow me to have multiple antennas in line as well as be able to tune them. So it's a nice thing to have, worth having if you're going to set up a base station. Something worth con considering. So I'm going to go and I don't know what I'm going to do now actually. I've really thought about it. But anyway, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. That was my antenna tuning unit. Not huge amounts of benefit everywhere using one of these. But on certain frequencies it certainly does make a difference and it allows you to use more than one antenna.